One method of admitting steam to the turbine and running it up to speed is to operate the control valves by manual operation of the hydraulic control system. In bringing the turbine up to speed, relatively little steam is required and it is probable that only one or at the most two of the control valves will be open or partially open to control the rate of speed increase. This feature has a particular negative impact. For example, looking at this overhead steam chest, we see that each of the eight control valves supplies steam to just a small arc of the admission nozzles. Consequently, with only one or two valves open, there would be a tendency for uneven heating of the turbine block. And this could perhaps lead to distortion and eventual cracking of the metal. Even with the side-mounted steam chest, we still have the same problem. In this arrangement, each of the four control valves supplies its particular arc of admission nozzles. So the same problem of heat distortion still exists. This method of control is known as partial arc admission. Of course, when the turbine is on load, more of the valves are opened, thus providing more even heating of the nozzle block. On large turbines, this problem is particularly pronounced and startup is usually performed in a different manner, that is by full arc admission. In this case, the stop valve is closed after heating the steam chest. Then the control valves are all opened completely, providing access to the complete 360 degrees of admission nozzles. Steam flow to the turbine is then controlled by throttling at the stop valve. This may be carried out by manual operation on a hand wheel like this, or perhaps remotely from the control room. With this arrangement, the turbine governor takes control by throttling the control valves as the turbine speed approaches its normal operating level. The stop valve should now be opened wide, and the governor's set point can be adjusted so that the control valves raise the speed to the nominal 3600 RPM or 3000 RPM ready for synchronizing. When the generator is synchronized and the turbine is on load, the steam flow into the turbine controlled by the control valves according to adjustment of the governor set point. Once the unit is on load, the stop valve drains, steam chest drains, and turbine shell drains can all be closed. How long should this startup operation take? At what rate can we raise the turbine speed during startup? Well, this all depends upon the